you have to make your art a destination. You're not going to stroll the way you do in Chelsea in New York or even Museum Mile. Um, people have to really intentionally seek you out. How much of a hurdle is that for you guys? Um, the, foot traffic the getting, is a little yeah, foot, <laughs> foot traffic <laughs> up the hill. <laughs> You're a goat. We, we, yeah. have more, we have more deer arriving at the getting by foot than we do people. Um, so uh, you have to make a concerted decision that you're going to the Getty and, organize, and you know, the parking and all those things that everyone's aware of as, the, as minor hurdles to getting there. But we can't keep people away. We have nearly 1.9 million visitors a year now, and it just keeps going up. Are you worried at all about people coming? You know, I'm, 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 I'm dreaming the ridiculous dream that actually this will be the first museum-like gallery that will actually have significantly more foot traffic uh, than people coming and parking in front of the, the facility. We have an image, I think, of your building. Let's, let's can show of, of Paul's, it's a, is it a construction site or just it's the mill? It, it's, 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 so you're looking in the, in the foreground, it's, is the uh, 1892 uh, sort of bank building. And you can see the little red uh, uh, trolley cars that uh, I love it. And you know, it's the the big mill will be for residencies and special projects and things. So it's going to be very much a kind of uh, hybrid. But yeah, this is a drawing of it before the big warehouses up on the upper left hand space were actually built. Just what is unique about California, Southern California, in terms of how it influences the art you show, the art you make, um, the way you do what you do? Well, I think LA is a big place, Southern California. There's, I think part of it is quantity of what's going on, um, which is distinctive, um, but also the ambition. I think there's an extraordinary level of um, ambition on, I mean, for a museum with the sort of projects that we're undertaking particularly with the Getty, with things like Pacific Standard Time, um, which we're now beginning the planning for the next um, iteration of that. The museum was founded with this DNA about taking risks and showing young artists at a moment when we were the only opportunity for them to show um, throughout the region. And we've continued with that, and we continue to sort of push as much as we can. You make sculpture, Samara, and it's quite elaborate. Let's show an image of her work. She was she has a show at PS1 in New York right now, PS1 MoMA. She has had work at The Hammer. Talk about the kind of th things you're creating and you know, how is there the space for this and how can even people collect it and is that something you worry about? I just think about how to make something that I want to see and it's really hard. Uh, I mean, it's hard for all artists, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I just, it's, I, I guess I see the things as being really large poems with small poems inside of them, and smaller and smaller and smaller. So there's tons of detail, and yet the piece is um, really large scale for me, and, you know, like whole rooms. Looking at this and thinking, you know, you had to come to Los Angeles. There could be no other place to, to realize this.